What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your DMS-40 adjustable microphone boom arm. Let's get to it. So the DMS-40 basically comes in three different parts. We have the main part over here, which is going to act as the adjustable boom arm. We have the clamp that is going to allow you to clamp this to multiple different sizes of desk. And then we also include a dynamic microphone clip for dynamic mics. So the first thing we're going to do when we want to clamp it onto a desk is pick an area of the desk that has enough clearance for this clamp to fit around. So if I wanted to clamp it onto this part of the desk over here, first thing I would do before I actually clamp it on is just make sure there is enough clearance. You're gonna to wanna to take your clamp part of the stand, line it up with the edge of the desk where you're mounting it, and you wanna line this part up flush with the desk. This is gonna ensure that you have a strong connection and it's not gonna fall over from the weight of your microphone. Once you have it lined up with the edge of your desk, you're going to take this bottom portion over here and start turning it to the right. And this is going to raise the clamp and actually pull it into the desk for a nice and strong connection. So once you actually start feeling that tug, that means you are actually touching the desk. And you don't wanna to go too much, you just wanna to go to where you can't really turn it that easily anymore. Okay, great. So I'm connected. Now the clamp will hold itself. Once you have the clamp attached to the table, you're then going to loosen this knob over here and just make sure that it is not blocking the mounting hole. So I loosen it by turning it this way. Once it's loose, I'm gonna take my boom arm and you're going to take this part of the boom arm over here and you're just going to slide this into this mounting hole over here. So I'm gonna slide it right over there and it's gonna be able to sit freely. But what you wanna do is now turn the locking knob. So you're gonna turn it this way and that's going to lock the boom arm into the clamp. You can see I still have that horizontal rotation and I can get rid of that by turning this a little more to the left for a nice and strong connection. And that's basically the simple part. We have it connected to our desk so we can now attach a microphone. Now the cool thing about the DMS-40 is it actually comes with this adapter piece which you can remove to fit onto smaller size microphone clips. So we have two different threading options. This is the 5 8 threading, which is for clips like this. And we also have the 3 8 threading option, which is for smaller mic clips. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on really quick, just so I can attach the included mic clip. All right, so now I'm going to attach the included microphone clip. You do that by just taking this end over here, there's threading in here, lining it up, and then you're just gonna start turning it. There you go. So I actually have a dynamic microphone over here. What I can do is feed it through over here. And this is basically how it's going to sit on the microphone stand. Now, of course, you can't have a microphone without your microphone cable. So I have an XLR cable here. I'm going to take the female end, plug it over here. And then you would run this end into your interface or whatever mixer, whatever you're using. So the way that we actually recommend running the wire so it looks cleaning is actually to use these knobs kind of like mic clips. Let me show you what I mean. So you would take this end, and you're just gonna run it through, and you're going to take the remainder of the cable and just line it up with the mic clip. You can see the cable actually follows the shape of the microphone stand and gives it a nice clean look. So now once you have your microphone all set up, you can kind of set it to whatever position you want and because of the springs, it's going to stay in that position. Let me show you what I mean. So if I wanted to go higher, I could go higher, I wanted to go lower, I could go lower, and it's just gonna sit there. And then again, if I find the perfect position, I can always lock it at these two different points with these locking knobs over here. So if I wanna set it here, for extra stability, I can turn this to the right, and it's gonna lock it in place. And this flexibility in the boom arm is actually what makes this microphone stand perfect for podcasting, radio shows, live streamers, and studio use. Now the current setup I have is using this microphone stand with the dynamic microphone, but you might wanna use it with your condenser microphone. So let me show you how to set that up now. So I'm gonna start by unplugging the microphone, taking the wire off for now. Then I'm going to take the mic out, then I'm just gonna take the clip off, and I'm gonna grab my condenser microphone shock mount over here. So this uses the 5 h threading so I can attach it straight to the adapter over here. So I'm gonna do that, just line it up, and you're gonna screw it on. So typically when you're setting up these type of microphones, you actually want the shock mount to be facing down like this so that you can feed your microphone through and talk right into the diaphragm. Once I have my shock mount attached to the microphone stand, I can then place my mic into the shock mount. So on this one, I push in over here, I slide the mic through, and then you can gently release and you're gonna see that it's going to hold the microphone in place. Now with most condenser microphones, we recommend that you actually use a pop filter with it so that you don't get any strong plosive words coming through in your recordings. So I have the Rock Pop pop filter over here. 
The way you're going to attach it is you're going to take this end, you're going to find somewhere all along this top bar over here that you can attach it to. You're gonna kinda hook it on this end and then with the knob in the back, you're gonna screw it on. Once it's on, you can actually position the pop filter right in front of the condenser microphone. The last thing we need to do is just run our microphone wire and we're going to do it exactly the same way we did with the dynamic microphone. We're gonna take the female end and we're gonna run it straight into the bottom of the microphone. Then we're gonna take the rest of our cable, run it alongside the knobs over here and get that nice clean look. And you can see with the condenser microphone, even with the added weight of our pop filter, we still have that flexibility in where we can position our microphone, which is great if you're using it in the studio or for live streams and podcasts. So hopefully you found this video helpful on how to set up your DMS-40 adjustable microphone boom arm stand. But again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support tech team through phone or email. As always, guys, I'm Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time.